is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. We got ourselves another Pinecone Models RC. This is Pinecone Model SG2403. This is a 124 scale that they had just come out with not too long ago. Now we know the first uh, mini crawler that they, or mini 124 scale they came out with was this <laughs> was this, which we all know what it is, it's a G-Wagon, um, and when the last time I ordered from Banggood, I received this Pinecone model, this was the actual one I was supposed to get. So before I go ahead and open up the box, let's take a look at the box and see what it says. So it does say that it is a 124 scale, full scale wireless control, off-road 124, 2.4G LED CCS ready to run. Um, this thing is supposed to be able to climb 45 degrees. We're gonna check and see. And it has a four link rear suspension. So you have 58 degree approach angle, uh, it has a 59 degree angle and then a 65 degree departure angle. So this is actually supposed to sit up higher than this one and I believe it was a Range Rover that they came out with after this guy and it's supposed to sit up higher but we are going to compare this one and that one to see what they look like. So let's go ahead, dig into the box and see what comes in here. All right, so since it doesn't want to come out this way, I'm gonna try this way. So, Upon opening the box, you do get a booklet. And this booklet tells you, actually it tells you a whole bunch of stuff. Wow! It actually tells you a whole bunch of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And blah, 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 blah. How to work with the controller. And it does give you blow up of replacement parts. Good to know. So we'll set that to the side. Let's see if it's gonna to wanna to come out this way now. There it is. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. All right, so here is the truck, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <clears throat> here is the truck. Uh, so you can get this model, the SG2403, in different models. Uh, you can get it in. You can get it in a Hummer. Um, I believe that's a Hummer H2, the Hummer H2 pickup or H3 truck, the F350, you can get it in an FJ Cruiser in yellow, FJ Cruiser a Jeep in red, and then this in green, don't know what that is, but these are all the ones that you can get, and of course, me being a Ford guy, I had to get the Super Duty. Now what else comes in the box here? So, ooh, look at that. So in the box, we also get a little screwdriver here. You get your battery charger, key wrench, and last but not least, four AA batteries. So when they say this thing is ready to run, it is definitely ready to run. 
So now the controller is definitely something different that I have seen with these Pinecone models here. Uh, this guy, I do not believe it brought the same controller as this. This controller, you're actually able to do it for left hand or right hand steering. On the controller here, you do have CCS, cruise control system, I guess, I don't know. Uh, speed, steering, dual rate, and your steering trim. And then you have your steering reverse, neutral, or normal, I'm sorry, and your throttle reverse normal. Then you have your on off switch here. Now on the side right here, you also have these buttons that say LED on it. You also have it on this side too. So I'm guessing depending on which way you're steering with the controller, even if you're steering this way, you can hit the LEDs instead of having to constantly just going off on the other end, which nice touch that they did. The fact that you can actually reverse it and switch the buttons on either side. Now, comparing the new SG2403 to the G Wagon here, the G Wagon is nice, detailed very, very nicely. Open door, open hood, uh, the rear doors open up, as you guys can see, and Rear hatch opens up also, so everything opens up. It really wasn't much of a off-roader per se, but as you guys can see, the main difference here, the SG243 2403 sits up a lot higher than this guy does. I wonder how this guy is going to do against, I don't know, my C10 against something. I really am wondering how this is going to do. Uh, the other difference compared to this guy is this body is actually a metal body, completely metal body. This one right here is a plastic body, so it's lightweight compared to this one that has a heavy metal body on top. You do have longer suspension travel, as you guys can see, compared to the old one, which you had low ground clearance, very, very low ground clearance. The tires, the tires on the G-Wagon are a lot smaller than it is on this guy. I think I'm gonna wind up taking this bumper off. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. And if I can probably lower so I'm probably going to lower the body a little bit and take off that front bumper. Um, on the body here, now, the one thing I can say is that Pineco models really detail their bodies very, very nicely. I mean, this thing just looks awesome. I love, I'm, again, I'm a Ford guy. That's why I chose this and this thing just looks absolutely freaking awesome. So on the back, you do have, it looks like there's light buckets on the back. You have light buckets in the front. You also have lights on the bumper here. The tires feel nice and soft. How well are they gonna be doing? How well are they gonna do off-road? I'm not sure, but we're gonna see how well it does. Uh, the chassis kind of reminds me a little of maybe the SCX24, kind of, sort of. I don't know, we'll see. Now, the one thing I'm trying to figure out here is how this body is going to come off the chassis. And, uh, not sure. <laughs> oh, oh, ooh, wait a minute. Did I just? Figure. So my guess is you just pull on it. Okay, so 
To pull the body off of the chassis, you basically just pull the front off. And as you guys can see, it is on a hinge system, just like the SCX24 does. Now, electronics wise, so this, so this does come with a battery. So the battery that comes with this thing is a 500 milliamp hour 2S 30C battery. We're gonna put this on the charge and then we're gonna see how this thing does. So as the battery's charging, I just wanna go over a couple more little things on this little guy. So for one, the front axle and the rear axle, worm gears, metal, plastic, not sure. They do use Phillips head screws. The suspension, they're just not oil filled. <laughs> Friction shocks, basically. That's all they are. The, the servo is an axle mounted servo, as you guys can see right there. One of the things that's kind of annoying me here is that, that I just moved it, but it was constantly hitting it. Your on off switch on your ESC here, it looks like it's a little 180, looks like it's a little 180 motor that's in there. Your battery system back, so as you can see, it looks like that gear right there is metal. This one is plastic. Uh, there are ball bearings in there as there is a ball bearing there also in the cover. So I'm thinking that the front is gonna be exactly the same way. The fact that they don't have any body posts on the front or on the back here holding the body on and they came out with this little clever solution, <laughs> which I think it is a clever solution, with just those two, this one right here, these two pins just go right into there. And that's basically what holds the body. And it's holding the body. That was a very clever solution. I think it was at least. Underneath here, you do have your four link in the rear, three link in the front with your Y up top, two lowers and the Y up top. Um, it is a metal chassis that they do have on here. And I do gotta say, this thing does look good. The tires on here are not as soft as you would get stock from the SCX24, but they're soft enough. All right, you guys, so upon taking off the wheel, I did notice something interesting about this. So the hex that is on here is a 8.6 millimeter hex for the wheel, but you also get your 6.6 millimeter, that's what it says, 6.6, .6, or in this case, your seven millimeter, that our regular wheels will be able to fit on here. So you guys can see the difference in the hex on the back here. This is the one that came off the truck and that is off of the FCS24 Blazer. And you guys can see that the hex here is a lot bigger. You can also see right there is like a step down sort of to be able to fit whatever wheel you want on it. Nice touch, nice touch pine cone, nice touch. All right you guys, there it is. And I gotta say, these lights are bright. So, like I said, you got your two headlights on the front, you got your bumper lights, and then you got your tail lights there. Now, when you put this thing in reverse, the lights do not come on, even when you stop. Now, like I was saying, you do have your buttons here for LED. And when you hit, 
one of the buttons, you turn off the headlights, but the bumper lights stay on. Now when you hit the other button, they all turn off. But you cannot turn on those lights until you turn on oh flashers. All of them. So basically that button here is what controls all of the lights because try to hit it and it will not turn on. Climb the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota and Fell apart south of Salt Lake Maybe some things never change But I wanna know how it feels to hang pictures on a wall All right, you guys, and there it is, Pineco Models SG2403. I have got to say, I am very, very, very impressed with this thing. The modulation on it, it did very, very well. 
If you guys want to pick one of these up, I will put a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. It does help out the channel. You don't have to get the F-250 like I have here. There are other models that they make, which you guys can see right here. You guys can pause the video. So those are the other models that they have available. Now, I'm really wondering what I can do with this with the SCX24 upgrades. I'm very curious. I wanna check it out. If you wanna check it out, let me know down in the comment section below and I will go from there. So without further ado, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. I will see you guys in another video. You all have a good one, keep our saying.